Hello, this is James from Illogics.com, and this is a dissected Smart Q5. As you can see, it is uh, made up of, um, when it's all assembled, uh, all the components are rather snapped or soldered together. Um, you have your LCD, your main processor board, your battery pack, uh, as well as your speaker and your front faceplate. Okay, I'm going to do a close-up. So please mind my setup. Okay. See if I can really zoom in. This is the, uh, looks like a wireless chip. It's a, uh, ComWise, uh, chip. Seems to be wired in with the board. Let's see. This is a, uh, let's see if I can uh, rotate this around. This is, uh, looks like one of the NAN chips, or one of the storage locations. And I have yet to look up the values of it. This is a, uh, looks like the Wi-Fi chip. Uh, it has a blue antenna there. Uh, there's a Atmel. I see, in a uh, blank socket space. This is the uh, four wire connector for the LCD. SD card slot, power adapter, mini USB, four wire connector for that, that board. You have your microphone, headphone jack, your buttons. There's another interesting I see here. Let's see. And what I did notice is it does not have a stereo uh, speakers built in, unlike the N800, which does have two speakers. There's other components. There's a speaker that's inside. This is the uh, the battery. It is an RSD four one six three six three uh, lithium ion or lithium polymer battery. Uh, this is one of the uh, looks like the flash chips, or maybe it's a RAM chip. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure about the chips yet because I haven't looked them up. Um, let me reset. Sorry for the shakiness. Here's your, uh, here's your Samsung arm chip. Is that another one? You actually have two. One there, one here. Most interesting thing is this empty socket here. Uh, I'm not sure what 
possibilities were in place with that, but I will find out. Okay. This is the uh, outer view. So you can see there. there's, I have yet to look it up, but I will determine what this is. And then that chip there, as well as um, these two chips here. Uh, we know that's the CPU. What might possibly go in that socket. This is the uh, LCD. Is a uh, 43MC01AA1 LCD. Now, one of the things I've noticed about this design is, unlike the uh, uh, Nokia, most of the components aren't shielded in any which way, shape, or form. Um, Nokia is very good about that, um, but apparently when they designed this, they, they didn't really design it for shielding, um, which, as we know, will have an effect when you have multiple uh, components uh, have possible interference with each other. But overall, uh, it's a very well laid out design. Um, I noticed that the uh, stylus goes in on this side. So, and given that the uh, stylus itself is like an antenna, and this component right here is the antenna for this chip, uh, the stylus might be used to increase signal strength. Um, so, but there we go. That's the inside. Be mindful that disassembling your Q5 will void its warranty. There is uh, no components on the back side. Um, thanks, and this is James from illogics.com. Thank you.